right, so today, I'm making a center console. Definitely had to adapt some things and pull everything apart, but this is gonna go all the way back here like that. We have the front end. This, instead of staying out here, like approximately there, it's gonna stay back there. Cut a hole for the shifter. Now I just gotta try to button it all up and see if it'll work. It works in there like this. I'm, I took it in there and shifted it and whatnot and it goes all the way to first, everything works. But the real question is, can I get all of this to work with that in there? Or with it sitting like this? I believe I can, but we're gonna find out. For example, this will be sitting here like this and I'll be able to have an armrest. I'll still have that little cubby thing under the armrest. I more than likely will no longer have this spot, these spots down here, which I didn't use a ton of anyway, so that's okay. But I'll definitely have this cubby right here, that one. Um, so I'm gonna start putting this together and seeing what I can do. But I definitely have to modify the frame rails and all of that. Just cut them with a the sawzall, you know? Sawzalls are friends. But yeah, so I gotta cut that, shorten that up, slide it back, stick it on here. Hopefully that works. And then everything else should, in theory, work. So I'm going to get this all put together. Okay, so I haven't uh, fastened this in or secured this in yet, but I wanted to show you how it works. So reverse, neutral, drive. Should have plenty of space, right? And then second and first. I still have space right here. That lid will close and still give me space right here for this or, you know, for there. Um, so... I think that will work. I wanted to check just to make sure before I really button this all up and put the sides on and all of that. I wanted to make sure that I could shift. So that's what it's gonna look like. Not too bad, I don't think. I think it's actually gonna turn out okay. And then I'll be able to have the, the plugs back here and for the kids and such. So things should work. I think something that would be kind of cool to put right here is one of those folding center consoles. If I can find one that's like can be a seat, I think that would be pretty neat because then I'd have an extra seat right here and I'd just be able to have that center with the cup holders right there. I don't know if it would be short enough this way, but I think that would be pretty cool if I could figure that out. So I might, maybe I'll just custom make a seat, set it on top with the folding back. I don't know. We'll see how the future, what the future brings, but I think this for now will be sufficient.
Okay, got the dash put together. That's what it's gonna end up looking like. So let's go install this beast in here. All right, it is in and ready to rock and roll. So we got the back in, everything's good to go. Now I have cup holders and everything else. All right, everything's in and officially the truck is interior is completely done. Actually, that's a lie. I just saw, I don't have my gauges, all of them. I'm using my phone for the speedometer, but I forgot actually that I need to hook up the power to the lights on the gauges so I can see them at night. Um, the fact that it's getting darker outside, probably something I should do. Um, once that's done, then the interior will be completely done. But everything's good to go, everything works, and yeah. All right, that's the center console and how I adapted it. <laughs> Guys, appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.